Hi, I'm Diana Falzone, and this is 4 for 4. Last week, we made our Oscar predictions, and the 4 for 4 award for Best Pick Predictions goes to, drumroll please, uh -oh. Ashley Dvorkin. Oh, Ashley's yay. pick, Birdman, turned out to be the night's big winner, but viewers may have been the big losers, as many thought this year's show was deadly dull. Ashley, do you agree? Not entirely. I really don't. I like the opening monologue. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris, I liked uh, when he had Anna Kendrick come out, Jack Black, and when he put himself into those older movies. It was great. And then I think some of the pizzazz wore off as the night went on. Maybe it so, was Until that, Lady Gaga. <laughs> maybe it was that running joke about his Oscar prediction box where he kept going to Octavia Spencer. Oh, my Spencer gosh. Over and over. Yeah, and it's not we were talking about Oscar. And I don't think she even knew she was in on the joke. No, she so Nobody was so more surprised than her. It was her. a tired joke by the end of the night. I was waiting yeah, for yeah. her to like, deliver the best right. punchline of all yeah. for it. And she and was just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but I do agree with Ashley. I thought that the opening number was great, and then Lady four hours lady, four hours later, Lady Gaga say. Yeah. And the big awards were won, and so it was just like this sandwich with really boring meat. I feel bad for <laughs> Patrick Harris. I would yeah. definitely be crying in my soup today if I were him. He looked visibly upset and yeah. shaken. It seemed like he knew that his jokes were falling flat and the audience wasn't with him. Yeah. And he was out there in public without any clothes on. Yes. So it was like a nightmare coming true. Yeah. One person who lended some spice, old spice, John Travolta, oh. who creeped out not one, but two young stars. Chris, which was more awkward, him kissing uh, ScarJo or face handling Adele Nazim? Oh, yes, I think the Adele Nazim face handling ah. kicked the cake. I mean, the, the fact that he was out there to make up for, for, uh, for mispronouncing her name the year before and then came out of it with an even worse gaff, yeah. putting his hands all over her face oh like my that, gosh. it was just really crazy. You know what, I see your face fondling and <laughs> raise you a midriff squeeze of yeah. Scarlett Johansson, yeah. who looked like if the camera wasn't on her, she would have put him in a headlock, and I bet you she actually could. Yes. Totally. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with I'm going with the face touching. I mean, I'm all for an Adele Dazeem shout out, because that was hilarious. However, they were talking about, oh, it'll follow you around for a year if you make a mistake like that. Uh-oh, yeah. here's another one. Uh -huh. yep. to be a meme. I wanted John Travolta to, to let it go. Let her face go. Oh. It was so incredibly awkward, but she was a great sport, and she, she pulled was. it off. For sure. But John Travolta, not... Not looking so hot these mm -hmm. days. There were some good moments on the Oscars as well, so we can't be haterating. Carly, what was your favorite? My favorite moment had to have been when Lady Gaga sang the Sound of Music tribute, yeah. and then probably the only surprise of the night was when Julie Andrews came out after, and they had that nice hug. It was really a touching, heartwarming mm -hmm. moment. I'm going to go with J.K. Simmons' acceptance speech because the acceptance speech itself, also because he won, which was expected, and because Whiplash was one of my favorite movies of the year. So before Oscar season officially ends, I will tell everyone, if you haven't seen that one, go Yeah, we it. know, we know. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I think it was when the director of Ida, which won the best foreign film, uh, Pavel Pavlikowski, I, I think you pronounce it. Wow. Uh, came, impressive. Just went right through the get off the stage. Oh, yeah, he didn't talking care. talking and talking and talking to such an extent that they closed the music down and they just let, let him go. go. Yeah. I'm going to echo your let sentiments. I really loved uh, seeing Julie Andrews yeah. and Lady Gaga together. She she really knocked the audience off of their feet. Yeah. Everybody, at, at the end of it, I'm like, she's going to get a standing ovation. <laughs> I think it really cemented her in a way that we haven't seen her before. And I'm predicting that perhaps we're going to see Lady Gaga kind of doing a share and maybe winning an Oscar one day. Oh, nice. Finally, half of the fun of the Oscars is critiquing the red carpet outfits. Ashley, who's your worst dressed? I'm going to go with Scarlett Johansson because she is stunning and she looks stunning. I love that green dress. And then there was this necklace part of it yeah. that took away from all that. So that's why I'm too busy. Almost yeah. a 10. Speaking of necklace parts of things that take away from, I'm going to go with the dude for this. And it's going to be Mr. Travolta again. Instead of wearing a nice black tie, he had this weird gold yeah. chain. It thank looked like it was something out of Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. yeah, it, was, yeah. it was really No, awesome. honestly, though, thank God for him, because if it weren't for him, we would have nothing to talk about. Thank you. My so. worst dress, though, is Felicity Jones, who really, mm. I, I was disappointed in her dress. It looked like Cinderella meets sci-fi in a really, really bad way, and I expected better of her. My worst pick is Jennifer Lopez. You gotta love J-Lo, but she was channeling a fairy godmother from Cinderella. It was a bippity-boppity no. <laughs> For Fox 401's full slate of Oscar coverage, go to fox 401com